um, since then I started to really investigate in other fields. Uh, traffic court, by the way, this is one of the good news I can give you. You don't even have to appear in front of anyone when the cop stops you. First of all, he has to have a warrant to arrest you. Otherwise, he cannot stop you. So basically, when you're going 80 miles an hour, you're not still, you're not damaged, you're not damaging anyone. So you, you haven't really committed the crime. There is no crime yet. Even though if you're drunk and you're driving, if they stop you, they will arrest you probably, and they will try to give you an attorney immediately because they don't want you to discuss about the jurisdiction of the court. What is the crime? You haven't hit someone yet. So if you're drunk and your car really is going from first lane to the fourth lane, coming back, but still you haven't committed the crime, there is no crime. That's in black and white. So basically when the cop stops you, he is violating some of the rules and regulations. However, you don't want to really discuss with the cop. Just get the damn ticket. Take the promise you know, just sign, tell him thank you, and just take it. That's all you want to do with them, because cops, they have no idea what they're doing. <laughs> Get the ticket. The ticket basically, and I'll tell you why you haven't committed the crime. The ticket basically, it's a promise to appear. You are signing, you are entering in a contract to appear in the court on such a date. And the ticket will say on or before. And usually the date will be 30 days or 40 days later. And then you look at the ticket and say, oh, I've got 45 days. You're happy. However, there's a trick in it. You offended a code, so you are an offender. After 10 days or 30 days, when you go to the court, they call you a defender. What happened? You were an offender, you became a defender. Well, you passed the 10 days. The 10 days in the commercial process. That means you accepted whatever they gave you. So basically, even though not to get involved with that, when you get a ticket, which is a promise to pay, a promise to appear, I'm sorry, the next day or the second day or the third day, don't pass seven days. Go to the clerk of the court because the ticket will say you have to appear in front of the clerk of the court on such a date or before. So if you appear before, it's okay, right? But most of the people, they appear on that date, which is too late. So just appear two days later and ask the clerk of the court, basically, that you want to see the magistrate. Because that's the reason why you have to appear. And the clerk will tell you, basically, that, uh, I'm sorry, but you're not in the computer yet. Now, you ask one more time, are you basically telling me that I cannot see the magistrate? And she's going to say, well, I'm sorry, you have to come back. You say, well, but however, I promise to appear on or before such a day. Now, is today's before? Yes, but I'm sorry. So you've got these two witnesses. Make sure that you have the name of the clerk and the time and the conversation, and you ask three times to see a magistrate, and they refuse you. So what you want to do, you go back home, do a couple of affidavits for your friends testifying that you appeared on such a date, and the clerk refused to give you a magistrate. And there's another affidavit that you can put some of the citations, put it together with the ticket, send it back to the uh, court. And that's the end of hearing from the court. Check after 10 days to see if your name is there. Believe me, it's not going to be there. You did appear, so there is no warrant at all. The reason why they issue warrants, when you don't appear as you promised, you're breaking a contract. I'm not born in the United States. I've been here for 15 years. Yes, I did my homework, however, English language is my fourth language, so um, it's difficult for me probably to read some of the rules and regulations, um, go through, I have to think in four different languages and translate to English before even I can speak to the judge or commissioner or start putting these packages together. Now, you are born in the United States, you're fluent in English, uh, there is no reason why you shouldn't go up there and start educating yourself. There is a lot over there that you can do. And I will show you what you can do being in the system and what you can do being out of the system. You have a choice.